This is a stage three Ormus. It's part of a bigger, bigger experiment that you'll have to wait to see. It's going to take me quite a lot longer to do yet. But some sodium hydroxide is just on a little piggyback jar that you might be able to see up in there. Yeah, there it is. Center top. Slowly percolating through. It's been going for about 10 hours. And yet it's still caused the localized precipitation as it's somehow been heavier than air, heavier than water. Or the solution that was there. Somehow produced that. I'm pretty sure that's solid. I can't see any movement in any if I look if I look close there are features on it that don't shift. So I believe it's solid. How cool is that? Here is the same feature 12 hours later. You can see it's pretty much completely dissolved. What you're seeing in there is the ends of the shoelaces where it's tied together. I came out this morning on my way to work and there was still about another centimetre or two hanging off of that uh, but I didn't have time to record it and so I've come in now and 12 hours later as opposed to 7 or 8 hours later 6 hours and if I look up in there you can see the level is not that much less than last night but at the same time you can see the levels have matched so from a siphoning point of view there's less fluid coming through you would have to say that it was coming through and the precipitate forming in that localized zone quicker than what it could dissolve if that makes any sense and intriguingly I had the idea that it may have even been a a tubule it could have had the precipitate on the outside of a small amount of liquid flowing down I don't really know that it's just speculation but there you have it I was excited about it so I thought you better know